Frisco, Texas. What's the big deal? Why is everybody talking about Frisco? Why is everybody moving to Frisco? Why did the Dallas Cowboys move to Frisco? What's going on? Universal Studios? Lots happening in Frisco, Texas. Incredible place to live. It has become, in many ways, sort of the star suburb of Dallas, Texas, and really DFW as a whole. Now, it is on the Dallas side, which is the east side, and it is due north of Dallas. And really, in many ways, it's only technically a suburb because it has become its own fully self-sufficient employment center and it has all the things. We'll get into that as we make our way through the video. But Frisco, Texas, my friends, is not the Frisco, Texas of 10 or 20 years ago. It is fully grown up and continuing to grow. 20, 30 years ago, Frisco was a smaller suburb to the north where people would live to commute down into Dallas or over into Fort Worth, maybe. It has very much become the center of attention. There's obviously a lot of other things happening in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but it has become the rapidly expanding kind of full spectrum community, big skyscrapers, as well as great local restaurants and some amazing attractions like a new coming soon Universal theme park. Got the Dallas Cowboys making their headquarters up there. You've got the Frisco Rough Riders, minor league team. You have the Dallas Stars hockey team with the presence up there. You've got big, 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 big retail. You know, you've got some big malls. You've got big Ikea. And then really technically in a different city nearby, you've got massive retail like Nebraska Furniture Mart and Shields and Andretti Indoor Kart Racing and all sorts of cool things like that. Even when you technically cross the borderline of Frisco, you're not going very far at all to some incredible attractions. As far as real estate goes, Frisco for a long time has been a really desirable place to live. And I know already in the comments will be complaints because there is no place that everyone purely loves. But Frisco, the positives are for a long time have been newer, nice master plan type communities that people really, really enjoy living in that are within driving reach of just about everything else in the Metroplex. Definitely on the north end, there was a proposal eight or nine years ago by city planners and consultants saying that Frisco has the potential to become the population center of North Texas in the next 20 or 30 or 40 years. Now, those are projections and guesses. But they're educated guesses based on data and growth, and Frisco is growing like crazy. At one time, it was the small edge of the Metroplex. Now, you're looking at high schools being built almost every two or three years to scale for the growth. Rapid expansion. You're looking at seeing sort of the beginning of the end of available land in Frisco. There's still plenty of land. Not nearly what there was. And now, there are those communities where people are moving to to commute to Frisco from further out north, east, and west. So you're seeing areas like Prosper and other areas being built out on the edge of Frisco, where Frisco was the edge of the Dallas growth. Now, location-wise, you're definitely to the north and east of the Metroplex as a whole, pretty much due north of Dallas. But because of the highways and the development and the growth of the highway systems there, you really still can get just about anywhere within a reasonable travel time. And that includes airports, hospitals, hotels, all the professional sports and things like that, that a city like Dallas offers, you can reach all those things certainly within an hour from Frisco. Now, here come the comments because in horrible traffic, yes, it could take you a little bit longer to get places. But on the normal day in and day out deal, Frisco is still within that kind of hour range of most of what DFW has to offer. It's been a highly desirable place. People like the schools, people like the entertainment options, people like the shopping options. There are restaurants everywhere old and new. There are communities old and new now. It's been a thing that's been popping long enough that there are some neighborhoods, some communities in Frisco that feel like old Frisco, that feel like there's some history there. Um, the academic and athletic draw there for families is really, really good. Uh, the recreational opportunities are really, really good. Lots of other opportunities for outdoor activities, as well as many, many more, especially more than a lot of other parts of DFW, indoor opportunities. The, the infill development has started now. So you've seen these big corporate campuses, these big retail development, these big athletic and entertainment venues. Now that's been happening long enough that the infill going back and getting those smaller parcels for commercial development and residential development has seen you know, enough life cycle, enough time that those infill things are being done. It's certainly not built out. It's not overdeveloped generally speaking from a city planning perspective, but you're seeing really the full spectrum of residential and commercial development. At the moment, you can buy a house in Frisco probably in the high 300s still. 
uh, and you're definitely seeing it as a 400 to 800 market, generally speaking, with properties well into the multi-millions, of course. You're seeing the full spectrum of single family, apartments, condos, townhomes, multifamily, retirement communities, 55 plus active adult communities, and really the full spectrum of housing. Frisco is a truly incredible place to live. The PGA has moved headquarters to Frisco. And then you start to blur the lines of Frisco and West Plano, where it feels very much like the same community. It's hard to draw that boundary line, but there is a difference. And you're seeing a lot of corporate headquarters between the two, like Toyota, Frito-Lay, Pepsi, things like that. Some big corporate campuses, but a significant presence for some big banking and financial institutions as well. Again, the Cowboys, and then this Universal theme park that the Universal has announced a unique theme park that they'd never done, really about a quarter of the size of the Florida theme parks, still pretty darn big, targeted towards younger kids. Even the rides are kind of focused at the under 46 inch crowd. There's some water stuff, some ride stuff, and then lots of focus on shows, and engagement, a more intimate experience with characters. Lots going on there. Ground has been broken on that. That's a two-year project at least. So you're looking at more like 25, 26, 2025, 2026 before full completion of those. Big draw, the, the expectation is $200 million in annual revenue from the Universal theme park alone. And for the next couple of years, thousands of jobs just from the construction be creating being created, not counting the peripheral businesses and hotels and Airbnbs and restaurants and all those things that will kind of come along with. Back to the PGA, some really cool resorts have been developed and are continuing to be developed, as well as the residential development that comes with new golf courses and an attraction of jobs and vacations and things like that that will come there. Billions and billions of dollars of continued development of restaurants, multifamily, single family, retail, car dealerships, entertainment venues, the arts, and additional expansion happening in Frisco right now and beyond. I could keep going for hours and hours and hours most likely, but Frisco is blowing up. There is the idea that it could really be the center of growth as growth expands in every direction. So Frisco is happening, people. You may be evaluating Frisco as a potential move for your company or your family. Let us know. We help people buy and sell real estate in and around Frisco all day, every day, as well as people consider moving their businesses and their employees and opportunities as well as nonprofits. So let us know if we can help you with that. Frisco is an incredible place to live and work as well as the surrounding areas, like we referenced earlier. Some people are moving around the area to commute to and live in and play in Frisco, Texas. Let us know what we missed in the comments, what you love about Frisco, what other people need to know. Maybe we'll shoot another video. We can engage with you offline about buying or selling real estate or making a move to the area. And of course, check out the other videos on this channel about Frisco and the other surrounding communities. We'll catch you on the next one.